Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tim Frost and today on Cooking with Frost, as you can tell by the description of the video, we're gonna be going over eight different ways that we can replace our pasta. I don't know about you guys, but I'm Italian and on every Friday nights we had some sort of Italian pasta dinner. With that pasta dinner, it would pretty much be entirely pasta, maybe a meatball or two. But I'm going to give you guys eight different options that we can replace that pasta with something a little bit healthier to help us hit our goals a little bit quicker. At the end of the video, I'm going to be ranking them from best tasting to worst tasting. I'm also going to be ranking them from the best health factor to the worst. But other than that, let's go ahead and get to cooking. All right, let's go ahead and get into our options. First one's gonna be spaghetti squash. After that, we got regular squash. You're gonna need a zoodler. This has a lot of different attachments. I'm gonna go with the small attachment for now and see how that goes. Also have spinach fettuccine noodles. We have super green noodles. We have cauliflower rice noodles. We have some brown rice noodles. Then we have some lentil and we also have chickpea noodles as well. So these are all our options. We're going to start with that spaghetti squash. You're going to need a heavy hand with that knife. It's going to take a little bit of oomph. Try not to cut yourself. Use the palms of your hands. Oh, oh there, there it goes. Go ahead and pick it right back up. Go ahead and use a smaller knife to get out those insides. Just want to go around the outsides first. Then you're going to need to take a spoon and get a spot to put your excess and then you're just going to scoop it out kind of like a pumpkin so you're going to scoop out both sides of course once you're done with that i like my little pepper and salt grinder get getting some of that salt and pepper on both sides once you do that grab a plate place them face down on that plate. You're going to put it in the microwave for about seven minutes. Once you're done with that, you're going to flip them and then you're going to go for another about seven minutes in that microwave. You're going to go ahead and poke it when it comes out. Should be a little tender. Then you're going to let it cool down. Then you're going to take a fork and take it out. I didn't let it cool down too much. It's kind of burning my hand a little bit, but you're going to scrape all of it out. As you can tell, it kind of has a spaghetti texture. Then once you take it out, you can go ahead and place it aside because I'm going to get right into our next one. We now are going to grab our zoodler to get to our squash. Going to place it right in and we're going to go into circles from here. So right now I have the smaller attachment. So for some thinner spaghettis, I'm not too happy with the way it's coming out. They're not coming out in long strands. So I'm going to grab onto the bigger one and use my other one, my yellow squash to get in those bigger and longer strands you can tell oh, oh man i got i'm all thumbs today as you can tell they're coming out in longer strands a lot more like spaghetti so once we're all done with that you can see longer strands there with some smaller strands with our green go ahead put a little bit of olive oil on that pan get it all around you're going to place those zoodles onto your hot pan to kind of get a little bit of that moisture out. You can put some garlic in on there to put some extra flavor, salt and pepper. Use your best pink tongs to flip it over and get it all cooked down. Place it onto your plate. It smells pretty darn good. Now we're gonna get it onto our spinach fettuccine noodles. They are a little tough. Even when I put it into my mouth, they're even tough to break apart. But when you cook them down, they smell and taste pretty good. Now we're going on to our super greens. I forgot to take a picture or a video of that. Now we have our gluten-free cauliflower, fava beans, and rice. So it kind of brittle, as you tell, it falls apart, but it looks really good. Now we're gonna go right into our brown rice. This took the longest to cook down, about 12 to 15 minutes, what it says, just like regular brown rice, but again, looks really good. Next thing we're gonna get into are those red lentils. They're all right, they're really hard to break, and yeah, you really shouldn't eat them raw, but they smell kind of, all right, and now we have our chickpea ones. They are a little bit easier to eat raw, but again, they feel a little grainy in the mouth, but not too bad, but they turn out pretty well when you cook them down. Look at that beautiful shot. Now let's go ahead and get right into our, our healthy rankings. So for our light, least healthy ones, we're going to be going with our spinach and our super greens because they have added stuff you really don't need. Next one is our gluten-free cauliflower because again, it has some extra stuff. Then we have our fava, red lentil, and chickpea again there just have some extra stuff then we have our brown rice and of course with our most healthy we have our vegetable ones no surprise there so that is our rankings now i'm going to go ahead and get into our taste test i'm going to start out with our super greens ones they 
feel a lot like pasta, even though they cool down a little bit. Uh, spinach fettuccine, uh, they're a little grainy, not so great. Going into our gluten-free cauliflower, they, they actually have a very good texture. Onto our lentils, for the lentils, I don't really know, not so great. You could definitely taste that lentil. For the brown rice pasta, it actually still is coming apart pretty well, even though it cooled down. Tastes a lot like pasta, pretty surprised. Going in for my chickpeas, they're a little hard to grab, and they, ah, they just don't have the right taste. Again, a little grainy, a little off. And we're gonna go in with our spaghetti squash. I eat this all the time, I do love the taste. And then we're gonna go in with our zoodles. I was surprised by the taste of those zoodles. Once you saute them, once you put an extra little bit of flavor, there's even some crisp on some of them. So they taste really good. Now let's do our taste test with a little bit of pasta sauce, low sugar pasta sauce. Going to start off again with those super greens. It mixes in pretty well and it twirls pretty well. So it actually surprises me here how well that tastes. Going in for our spinach fettuccine, it's still a little clumpy, even with our extra sauce. And I still taste a lot of that graininess, even though I had that sauce on top. Now we have our cauliflower and fava bean one. Again, it swirls pretty well. Tastes extremely like pasta, surprised by it, very good. Now we're going in for our red lentils. It goes in pretty well. Now I'm taking a couple in there and you know, I could still taste those lentils, not so great. Now we have our brown rice pasta. It just mixes right in easily, very easy to twirl even though I didn't do a great job. And it, wow, that, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna take another bite. That is, that's pretty darn good. Let's get in for our chickpea. So it, it's mixing in pretty well, especially with this kind of pasta. A little bit harder to grab. It's tough. It's it's just still same type of thing. I, I wanted to like them more because it has the added protein, but oh well. And now we're gonna go in with Old Faithful spaghetti squash. I, I know what it is. I, I still do like the taste a lot, but it's not very much like pasta though. So it does lose some points there. Now we're gonna go in for our zoodles. They do actually twirl surprisingly enough. And you really don't get too much of the sauce. You still taste a lot of veggies. But you know what? It still is pretty good. Overall, I was really rooting for our lentils and the chickpea, but not so great. Now for our taste rankings. Sorry, red lentils. Ugh, you, I still tasted you. Couldn't taste the sauce. And sorry, chickpeas. Still not too bad. All this stuff is way better options than regular pasta, though. Next one was the spinach fettuccine. Again, a little grainy. Wasn't the best thing in the world. Next thing we have on the list is the spaghetti squash. I do love it, but I mean, the other ones are so much better. Even those zoodles, I was surprised by how much I really enjoyed it. You could add a lot of flavor. Right after that is our super greens. Very surprised by those super greens. Very good. And you're getting a lot of vegetables in. Right after that, brown rice. Oh, no, sorry. That's the cauliflower one. Then we have the brown rice one, but I would take either R or they are both winners in my book. So if you need Need any of this stuff the links are going to be in the description down below but i hope you guys really enjoyed this episode again if you would like i would love for you guys to subscribe check out my other videos with cooking with frost you can check out some workout videos and please subscribe smash that like button but other than that stay happy stay healthy and above all stay positive see you guys in the next one